I discovered this photo in a scrapbook among my mother's things. The book is filled with love letters, detailing the passionate wartime romance between my parents. The landscape in this photo tells me that it was taken during their college days. This was before the first signs of the tropical depression, which would grow into the hurricane of their marriage. As a child, I learned to weather the gale force winds of their impetuous decisions. We moved back and forth across town and the country, trying to figure out in which area code their 35-year marriage would best survive. When I left schools, friends gave me goodbye parties, and then I would reappear in the fall, embarrassed, because my parents decided, halfway across the country, that they were gonna call it quits again. I was always searching for the eye of the storm, a place where I was safe from the debris that washed up on my teenage years. I have perfected survival skills. I can board up windows, bail water, and fill sandbags. My sisters and I weathered hurricanes David, Camille, and Edward, second and third wives, runaway mom, high stakes gambling, addiction, and public humiliation. The Katrina of my life was my father's suicide. When I finally got the roof back on and the basement mopped up, I felt relief that nothing would ever hit my life with that force again. With my father gone, I felt like I could begin to move to a higher, safer ground. The end of hurricane season came with my mother's death three months ago. What I noticed most is the eerie silence, the absence of wind. I've been stockpiling plywood and sandbags my whole life. Now, at 51, it is time to rebuild. <laughs>